My name is Matt Rich. I'm the senior pastor here at Unity Presbyterian Church. I want to welcome you to this week's edition of Life Together. This coming Sunday is February the 18th, and we are looking forward to a wonderful, moving, important Sunday for us here at Unity as we enter into the season of Lent. We'll be gathered here in the sanctuary for worship, 845 and 11 o'clock, our two normal worship times. I hope that you will come and join us for these special services beginning on Sunday. If you're unable to join us in person, then of course, join us online. Find us on Facebook, on YouTube, and on the church website. Opportunities for you to also participate in life and worship together here, here at Unity in that way. This is the first Sunday in the season of Lent. And as many of you know, we've been reading through the Gospel of Mark throughout the course of 2024. And that we have reached the second half of that gospel, and the second half is largely the story of Jesus' time in Jerusalem, this final week of his earthly life. We're going to walk through that week together over the course of the whole season of Lent that we might spend this time carefully, patiently walking with Jesus in Jerusalem throughout this season ahead. But that does mean that this Sunday, February the 18th, is essentially Palm Sunday for us here at Unity. It's gonna strike us as a little odd because we know Palm Sunday is supposed to be the Sunday before Easter. What does it mean to celebrate it early? What does it mean to then take six weeks following that to walk our way through this week, ultimately to the cross and the empty tomb on Easter Sunday? We'll look forward to spending this time together. It promises to be a meaningful, moving, important season for us, not only to know God's story and our story, but to find ourselves drawn into the wonderful love that God has for us and has shown for us in Jesus Christ. So hope, my friends, that you'll come and be a part of worship, not just this Sunday, but in the Sundays that are to come throughout this season of Lent ahead. In addition to worship on Sunday, I also hope that you'll come and, and be a present in between those two services because it's Congregational Breakfast Sunday. We'll be in the Fellowship Hall, 9.45, 10 o'clock come, and we're going to have pancakes and all the fixings. So it's an important time of celebration that we, we undertake each year with the Congregational Care Committee's help to, to help us begin this wonderful season of Lent. So be sure to come. Um, be a part of that time of fellowship, of um, helping to share your story with other people, perhaps that you don't know quite as well, or just with the friends that you've known forever. Be here together for Sunday morning for Congregational uh, Breakfast at uh, 10, 9.45, 10 o'clock in the Fellowship Hall. It's going to be a great time, so we'll look forward to seeing you then. I also hope that you have already signed up for the parenting workshop on February the 24th. Six needs of every child. This really is a once-in-a-lifetime unique opportunity for us here at Unity to have the authors of that book visit with us all the way from New Zealand. They're going to be here Saturday morning, February the 24th, for this workshop. It's certainly for parents. We do hope that all of our parents of children and youth will come. We also do hope that grandparents, that um, other community friends and, um, and neighbors, that you'll invite them, that all those in our congregation who care about children will come and be a part of this time together. It's an opportunity to think about the ways in which um, science and fourth faith formation come together to help us all to raise and nurture children in the faith and youth in the faith, to be the place that they might turn into and become the children that God has called them to be. We're looking forward to celebrating this time together. There's also an opportunity following that uh, Saturday morning workshop to be a part of reading the book together and, and small group discussions that follow. So you'll have opportunity to sign up for those if you'd like as a part of uh, your registration for that day. Looking ahead, we do have opportunities to continue to recognize and see the ways that God continues to call us um, to be engaged in mission and service. Thank you so much for those who uh, contributed items for the Presbyterian Disaster Assistance Buckets that were assembled last week by our fourth and fifth graders. So great and wonderful generosity of your turnout for that. We're also in the midst of receiving offerings for the Blankets Plus offering uh, for Church World Service. And uh, the youth announced their, uh, their uh, new service project with, with Cinderella's Closet. And so I hope that if you are cleaning out your closets and find formal wear of uh, dresses, uh, tuxedos, all the accessories that might be, uh, might be possible to donate for, for children who find themselves just needing a little help to get to prom this year. Um, our youth are working with a group called Cinderella's Closet by Tender Hearts um, in York to be able to provide an opportunity for, uh, for that to be possible 
uh, for children going to youth going to prom this year. So be a part of that particular mission and service as well. If you missed that, go back and look at the service from last week to see the uh, minute for mission of the youth game. We have all these wonderful opportunities. As we look into March, we um, also look forward to uh, our next Welcome to Unity Coffee. So if you are exploring and thinking about if Unity might be a church home for you, uh, do come and join us for that Unity Coffee. Welcome to Unity Coffee on, um, on March the 3rd uh, between services again, 10 o'clock. My friends, God continues to lead us in this wonderful season. We look forward to the ways we continue to understand and know God's story and our story the ways in which those join together in ways that bring life, not only to us, not only to this church, but to the community and the world. Come and be a part of this journey together, particularly this journey in Jerusalem with Jesus in the season of Lent ahead. God bless you, and we'll look forward to seeing you soon.